This lesson we're going to take a look at circles. And uh, to start with, we'll just look at a few vocabulary terms um, that we need to know to be able to study them. Um, so the first is what this little letter here represents, this R. Um, and that is the radius, the radius of a circle. And the radius of a circle is just the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. All right. Now, not already written in this um, in this particular picture is a line that goes all the way through the circle that passes through the center, and the distance from one edge of the one point on the circle to the point on the complete opposite of the circle is what we refer to as the diameter. So there's two measurements we're going to want to be able to do with circles. The first is circumference. And the circumference you could also think of as the perimeter of the circle. Okay, so it's just the distance around. So this word circumference, just think perimeter. Okay, the distance around the circle. So if you were to walk around the circle, how far would you walk? And then of course the area is the amount of space it takes up. Okay. So for circumference we have two possible formulas. We have um, this symbol here which is called pi. Um, you can either take pi times the diameter or you can take 2 times pi times the, di uh, times the radius. Okay, and so you have the option. And the way you'll decide which one to use is based upon whether you're told the radius of the circle or you're told the diameter. Okay. Now the last thing here is what is this, what is this pi all about? Okay. Well, this pi is just a number. Okay. And it's a number that goes on and on forever. It's a decimal number that goes on and on forever and never stops and doesn't form a pattern or anything. Uh, but what we do know is that pi is about 3.14. That's not exactly what it's equal to, but that's pretty close, and that's what we're going to use any time we see pi. So that's for circumference. So before I even talk about the formula for area, um, let's find the circumference of the circle given here. All right, so the circumference, um, I have two formulas to pick from. I could use circumference equals pi times diameter, or I could use circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. Well, the way we decide which one to use is what does this number represent? Well, that number represents the diameter, right? So since that number is the diameter, I'm going to use this formula here. So circumference is going to be about equal to 3.14 times 10. And the nice thing is when you multiply by 10, all that's going to happen is the decimal is going to move over one. So the circumference of this uh, circle is about 31.4 feet. All right. all right, now for the area. The area you have to compute using the radius. Okay, so the area formula is area equals pi times r squared. All right, so for our example here, I know I have to use this formula, but notice that in our picture here, um, we're not given the radius. But the thing is, if you know what the diameter is, in this case 10 feet, you know the radius too, right? Because you can see clearly from this picture if the diameter is all the way across through the center and the radius is from the center to the edge, the radius would be exactly half of the diameter. So I can just pencil in my radius into this example and say that that is 5 feet. Okay, So we always know the radius even if they just give us the diameter. So for my computation here, I will have A equals, or approximately equal to, I'll use those squiggly equal signs, 3.14 times 
times 5 squared. Okay, now we know what to do first. Exponents become before multiplication, so my area is about 3.14 times 25, because that's 5 squared. And then I just need to compute 3.14 times 25. So 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7. 5 times 3 is 15. Bring a 0 down. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so what we end up here is with 7850, and then there are two decimal places up here, so I need to send the decimal point back. Oops back two places down here, so I go one, two. So my area is approximately 78.5 square feet.